Welcome to another episode of Tabletop Noob. Today we're starting on the creatures from the uh, Shadows of Brimstone. So right here in front of me I have the Void Spiders. Got them all primed up, getting them ready for paint. So uh, just uh, I'm using the uh, Shadows of Brimstone uh, Creatures of the Void paint set. So I'm going to be using the brush that came with the paint set, the uh, base coating brush, and all the paints. Um, I primed them with the uh, Duplicolor Automotive uh, Sandoval Primer, uh, color white. Um, just like I when uh, if you've seen the um, when I painted the heroes. Um, I used the paint sets, the brush, and the prime in this primer, so nothing's changed. Um, so that's what I'm doing. And uh, just like when I did the uh, the heroes, we're going to use the the card to pretty much as a guideline to go by to figure out how we're going to paint these things. Um, you can paint them however you want, but I'm just going by the card and the colors that's available on the paint set so so we're going to look at the card here so they're kind of a whitish bluish color got a little bit of a reddish color with white teeth so since the only blue that we have in the paint set is this tentacle blue we kind of got an off-white color we have this fang bone so I'm thinking mix those two together uh, to come up with our um, our light blue as our base coat for the entire body and these guys should be very very simple to paint just basically we're looking at just body and mouth that's all they are is just body and mouth so let me go ahead and mix that up and uh, lay down the paint and I'll show you what it came up with um, basically uh, I'm not going to give you any ratios um, it's just I mean just paint however you want to paint them uh, just come up with just however color you want if it's brighter or darker I mean what it comes down to paint it however you want to paint I just want to come to as close to this as possible or at least a color that I like if it's not quite this color I mean if you're using this paint set, if you're using just this just for the creatures, obviously you're a little limited. And that's what I'm just showing you. I'm just showing you I'm painting the creatures with the creature set. But without further ado, that's what I'm going to do. Kind of rhyme there. Hey. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and mix that up get all of them base coated their bodies with that and before I move on with the teeth and the mouths so using the base coating brush which is a bigger brush in comparison to the smaller bristle brush with the uh, that came with the heroes brush so this should go a lot faster and uh, so yeah so let me go ahead and get that started. I'll do a jump cut and you'll see all the the horde of spiders base coated, their bodies base coated. So I'll be right back folks. <clears throat> okay, well I mixed the um tentacle blue and the uh, fang bone together and well it kinda turned out kinda green. Mm. I don't like it, actually. So, yeah. Kind of like it. So, yeah. Kind of like it, actually. So, next is going to be the gums. I still have the others to finish up. I got most of them painted. But 
I figured I'd just show you these real quick. So yeah, I figured I would use the Crimson Hand Red to do the gum line. Get these back in the frame there. The Crimson Hand Red to do the gum line with this brush. If you have a good point on it, you should be able to do it, but you know, with the way my hands shake, <laughs> could be interesting. And um, then I'll do the teeth with really the only white that you have is the fang bone. And then I might go ahead and I might do one. I'll do both of these with the um, crimson hand red with the um, the gum line, and then the fang bone with the teeth. And then we do have an ink that came with this set, a uh, dark tone ink. I might do one with the mouth with the dark tone ink and see how it looks and compare the two to see if I want to do all of them that way or not and I was just thinking maybe just just the mouth so yeah so let me do that and um, and then you know of course you can decide just seeing what it looks like if you're painting it like this if how the mouth looks if you want to do the same thing as well you know so I mean hey, it's your miniatures these are mine I'm doing it this way I'm just gonna do one with the dark tone ink and if I don't like it well then I'll just have the one with the weird mouth and I'll just say it's a a special one or something I don't know <laughs> anyway so I'm going to go ahead and paint those uh, paint those up and uh, I'll be right back with uh, a jump cut so you can see how it looks. So I'll be right back. <clears throat> okay, I've got their mouths painted. And as you can see here, this one is with the dark tone wash. Let me prop them up here. Really dark tone ink, I mean. And this one this one is without. So this one is with without and the one by the bottle is with. So I think it looks pretty good with it. So I think I'm gonna do all of them that way. So yeah, I kinda like it. So, here's our little creatures, unfortunately, when they're down like this, you really can't see their mouths, unfortunately. It's a shame. Maybe I'll give them a little dry brush or something on the top, give them a little more interest on the top, otherwise they're just... I don't know, they're just not interesting. I mean, that is interesting. That isn't. <laughs> so, I don't know. I mean, uh, the fang bone is a little bit yellow, is a little bit of yellowish white, so mixed with the blue, obviously, they turn green. So. I mean, I guess I can just give them a, a dry brush of uh, the fang bone or something to bring out the detail of the, or I can just give them the whole body, the dark tone ink, I don't know, just something, just to give them more interest. 
Because to be honest, they're they're kind of boring. I guess they're just kind of supposed to be boring, I suppose. I mean, they're just, I mean, you get a whole mass of them. And they're just supposed to be just little a nuance, you know. I don't know. They're just kind of meh. <laughs> I don't know, I think I'll just leave them the way they are. Okay, I lied, I wasn't done with them. <laughs> As you can see, I got some that are different colors. So, there they are. I have some that are kind of a bluish green here. Got some that are reddish. Got some of the color that you saw earlier. Yeah, feet are still a little sticky from uh, the sealer I put on them, which is the um, Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch Ultra Cover Matte Clear. This stuff here. Anyway, still slightly sticky. The feet are. Their bodies aren't. Anyway, uh, let's see, I got some the purple here which is the dark stone purple this here is the serpent skin this here is a mix of the uh, tentacle blue which was over top of the original greenish color this was the crimson hand red and of course their mouths are all done up so they're all like rawr. So, I figured, you know, why can't they be different colors? So, I got them, all 12 of them done. You get 12 of them in the, in the box. Let's adjust the camera there so you can see them all. Yeah. Come on, camera. Loosen up the thing first, and you can, there. There. Now you can see them all. So they're all different colors. I figured, you know, they're void spiders. Why can't they all be, why, why do they all have to be one color? They can be different colors if they want to. You know. They can come from different parts of the void, I suppose. So, yeah. Anyway, so, this is the, the end of the video here. So they're all done up. Stupid hair. Anyway, this is the end of the video here. They're completely finished. They're protected with the, with the, um, like I said, the Rust-Oleum. Let me zoom out. There we go. The Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover Matte Clear. The Painter's Touch. Uh, the same thing I sprayed on the. Um, uh, the uh, yep, the heroes. So we got looks like the U.S. Marshals and deep shit here. Same thing I sprayed on him to give it some protection. But anyway, yep, all done now. Well, with them. So like, share, subscribe, uh, comment. You know all that jazz, and thanks for watching.